Hey, this is Jen and Josh from wherever we land. We're about ready to start our weekend. It's Friday and we're going to Chick-fil-A. After that, we're gonna go do some hiking at Little Dixie Conservation Area near Fulton, Missouri. Yeah! Actually, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah! What about you, Josh? <laughs> Just driving. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is the menu at Chick-fil-A? What I need to know ahead of time what I should be thinking about getting. We kind of went over this previously. <laughs> that was like way last weekend. <laughs> Do you know what's happened in this week? I've developed two assays. I had one that worked and one that didn't. I've made a protein and I've almost killed us just now. Twice. <laughs> It's food chicken. menu was is like a totally a thing of like last week. It's pretty much chicken. I get that. Chicken sandwiches of any kind, um, chicken salad, chicken with the salad, and then yeah, I know I remember waffle fries. Yeah. So I just need to order the chicken sandwich. Basically, is that what you recommend? I, You're very into your Chick-fil-A, so I'm, I gotta go by your recommendation here. You, he acts like I'm into the Chick-fil-A, but I haven't been to Chick-fil-A since I've been like 12 years old. Sure, here's my thing. What What is special about Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich versus Zaxby's chicken sandwich? We're about to find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I have a selfie stick. It makes me really excited. But I still have this giant glare on my glasses. I do have eyeballs. Como traffic. Yay. Stopped traffic ahead. Use alternate route. Too late for all that. I'm really hoping that this is a good idea. It's like the second week that Chick-fil-A is open and there's a ton of people. Chick-fil-A was a wash because it is standing room only up in there. So we are going to figure out somewhere on this side of town to eat since we're never on this side of town. Have to do some deep digging. All right. So as we discussed earlier, Chick-fil-A was a bust. So we're just going to head straight to Little Dixie and eat after if we decide where we want to go if we decide where <laughs> we want to go show the stadium well you can't show the stadium what does that do i was hoping it would flip it but it's it not going to flip it i don't know if you can see it but that's the stadium they're playing in south carolina tomorrow and I'm at a stoplight, so I should not be paying attention to the road and not doing that. We're at Little Dixie Conservation Area. We're getting ready to go on a hike. And it's pretty beautiful. Check it out. Josh and I go fishing here all the time, which really means that Josh goes fishing here and I sit around and knit, but it's beautiful. And to be honest with you, I've never went around the lake, like, taking a walk. Josh usually fishes around the lake when I'm not around, because I have one rule. No, no mud. So, I, I bet there's going to be mud here. We'll see. Apparently I'm breaking that rule, huh? <laughs> you might be.
This is where you usually go fishing, isn't it? No. No? You walk all the way back here? I haven't even gotten anywhere yet. Well. I walked back here for probably a mile and a half. Maybe, maybe a mile. That's... I probably would only walk this far to go fishing. I'll go to like... This looks like a good place. Yeah, but... But dedication, hard work. <laughs> As you can see, sometimes I watch The Biggest Loser. I have honestly... We've been fishing at this lake for five years now, and I've never walked around it. And there is all this beautiful shoreline. We usually just go to like the same two places because I like insist on being put, stay put. Look at this. Yeah. See, this normally you can't get access to this. This is normally all underwater. I've never been able to get down this far. Really? Yeah. Normally the water is clear up to here. Oh. Which is unfortunate because the water when it's up to here is only like um, probably a couple feet deep. Yeah. But the fact that it's so low, I mean this probably would be really good to fish right now. Because it's probably about four or six feet deep straight out. Probably would be good to fish right now. Yeah. Looks like it. I have a feeling this is going to be windy. Like, you know how it's like... So we might have to pretend like we do know how to edit. He's not taking me on a walk. He's fish scouting. No, because most of this you can't is not accessible. Because it's too overgrown. Oh, <laughs> see this a lot. People a boat. get tired of rowing. So they just drop off their boat. You know what? I do not blame them. We decided that we wanted to like try out rowing once and got stuck in the middle of the lake with a broken oar. So, needless to say, that was our last time on a rowing adventure. I'm half tempted to try it again, but there'd have to be something in it for me. Isn't He's taking people's... No, I'm gonna throw it away. Oh, yeah, save turtles. Like, do not leave your line. But I, I bet this was underwater. Any lures or anything hanging around, but I do have a feeling that. Because I know I personally have gotten some shit caught in here, but you guys don't normally see it. Yeah, there's even lily pads. I didn't even know this was back here. Listen. Look at this. Don't do this. This is littering. And it kills animals if they try to eat it or go inside it. There's two people fishing over there. Maybe more than two. I don't even know.
Are you recording the whole time? No, I just started it. getting ready to turn around and that's all I really had to say <laughs> because it's dinner time. Oh well, because you don't have anything better to do. So you're like, let's eat. So where do you think you want to eat? I don't know. Where do you want to eat? That scared me to death. Mm -hmm. I thought it was your big foot. It was. My big yeah, foot. Your big foot. I don't know. My underwear is just falling down. Well, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? All the viewers will be happy to know. <laughs> That's getting edited out, probably. All our viewer. single viewer. <laughs> Thank you, single viewer. <laughs> Let's have a talk about this hat. It's the whole reason that I'm wearing it when it's not really that hot out or cold out is that I knit it and I wanted to take a picture in it. But I realized that I kind of don't like it. And this probably won't ever end up on our vlog. <laughs> like a million, you fail like a million times before you find one good thing. And as long as you never quit, then you don't fail. Yeah. And I'm mm -hmm. not quitting just because this hat sucks. And I'm not gonna be able to sell it on my Etsy shop. Well, you don't know that. It might be the perfect hat for somebody. Just because you don't like it. Yeah, I don't think it's the perfect hat for anyone. It kind of looks like a mushroom cap. Check that out. For somebody with a slender head, that might be perfect for them. Yeah? So, could be. You can follow the top path. The top path? Mm -hmm. Is that where we came from? It'll get you in place. He's getting me lost. Made it back. It's almost dark and now we're getting ready to go try this place called Oki Mama. It's a noodle place in Columbia, which is about a 15 minute drive. <sighs> Bye little Dixie. Did you enjoy the hike? I did. Yes, how about you? I liked it. It was really nice to see where you fish. I didn't know that you fish so far away. So we are getting ready to eat noodles and stuff. Mm. And potentially have a secondary dessert elsewhere. Donuts! <laughs> we orange chicken with noodles and an egg roll. And we have dumplings and crab rangoon. And Josh has sweet and beef with noodles and an egg roll. Mm. It looks really good. We've never eaten here before. So, I didn't even record any of the previous conversation that we just had. Um, so, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say this is? I would say about 9. I agree. And the spring roll pork dumplings were your favorite? I think so. Yeah. I really liked my orange chicken. It had a really good like orange flavor. It wasn't fake. It actually felt like orange zest. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's really loud in here. So we'll see how that goes. Yum. We'll definitely be back here.